Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Border Gateway Protocol, BGP Lab number 6. In this lab, we're going to take a detailed look at Multiple Exit Discriminator, our MED. This is a BGP attribute, and what we're going to do is, if this network topology looks familiar, this network topology is from our previous Juniper BGP lab, which is lab number 5, in which we looked at the BGP attribute of AS path. In particular, we looked at AS path prepending. So we're going to be using the same network topology. And if you weren't with us with the last lab, let me go ahead and start out by giving you a description of the network topology. We have six routers, router 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We are using logical systems within one physical Juniper router, and we are using logical tunnels to connect the logical systems together. If you're not familiar with logical systems, I have a couple of videos on logical systems. I would go ahead and watch those, but by now you probably have watched those. If you're not familiar with logical systems, what they allow you to do is create what's known as virtual routers within a actual physical Juniper router and you can connect these logical systems together with logical tunnel interfaces and run routing protocols between them uh, you can do MPLS, MPLS VPNs and other protocols so that's what we're doing in this lab all the logical tunnel interfaces equal LT-120.XX for instance the connection between router 3 and router 5 from router 3's perspective, that interface is LT-120.35. All of the IP addressing of the routers are as follows. Router 1, the interfaces are dot .1. Router 2, the interfaces are dot .2, and so on. Router 1 has loopback 0 0.1 interface with two prefixes, the 1 network and the 11 network, both slash 24s. Router 6 has the loopback 0 0.6 with the 6 network and the 66 network, both of those slash 24s as well. So we are running BGP. Router 1, 2, and 3 are in Autonomous System 100. Router 4, 5, and 6 are in Autonomous System 200. We are running IBGP within AS100. Router 1 is a route reflector. If you're not familiar with what a route reflector is, I have a Juniper BGP lab that is devoted on route reflector basics. I would go ahead and watch that lab. So Router 1 is, has a IBGP connection to Router 2 and Router 3. Router 2 and 3 do not have a connection or reachability to each other directly. So router 1 is going to be the route reflector and reflect the routes to the routers. Same thing with router 6. It is a route reflector as well. It's connected via IBGP to router 4 and router 5. Router 4 and router 5 do not have a IBGP connection to each other. And if you're not familiar with what route reflectors allow you to do, they allow you to skip the rule of all IBGP routers must be connected directly to each other. That is the IBGP full mesh rule. Route reflectors allow you to get around that and that's what we have router 1 in AS100 as a route reflector and router 6 in AS200 as the route reflector. If you want more details on route reflectors, again I have a video on that so I'd go ahead and watch that as well. We are running external BGP between